Good evening and welcome to Poland Daily. I'm Nicholas Richardson and this is the news. The district prosecutor in Warsaw, Mariusz Dubowski, has announced a new indictment against Sławomir Nowak. The former civic platform politician, minister in Donald Tusk's government and head of the Ukrainian Road Construction Office is charged on 17 counts, including accepting bribes, paid protection and leading an organised criminal group. Sławomir Nowak was one of the closest associates of the current leader of civic platform, Donald Tusk. Arrested a year ago, Novak was released on one million zwoty bail. His political friends consider Novak's arrest to have been politically motivated. Sławomir Novak faces 17 charges, including leading an organized criminal group operating in Poland and the Ukraine, accepting bribes in the total amount of 6 million zwoty, demanding bribes of 4.5 million zwoty, and paid protection while chairing the Ukrainian Road Administration for Kraftador. The prosecutor's office is politically motivated. The show we saw today has nothing in common with the procedures where a case is presented to the court and not to the media, and the court decides whether a person is guilty or not. The year of the pandemic at school has not affected the outcome of this year's baccalaureate. The Ministry of Science and Education has published the results of this year's exams, and it turns out that they are similar to scores achieved in the past. Three quarters of graduates have successfully passed the secondary school leaving examination. Only 8% failed. Last year, this year and next year, the matriculation examination is based on the examination requirements and not on the basis of the curriculum. As for the overall assessment of this year's mature exam, it was good. No major deviations from the past year were detected. 74% of secondary school graduates passed their high school diploma. Another, almost 18%, may retake the exam soon, and fewer than 8% of high school graduates fail. A large explosion at Romania's largest oil refinery, the Petro Media plant outside the port city of Constanta, left one person dead and several injured. Footage taken by an eyewitness from a nearby beach in the coastal resort of Navadari showed a black smoke rising from the area next to the refinery owned by Ron Petrol Raffinari, part of the KMG International Group. The footage also shows people enjoying a sunny day on the beach while smoke is rising in the distance. The danger of further blasts is diminished as firefighters are putting out the fire, said Riyad Arafat, head of the Department for Emergency Situations. Arafat said that there have been four victims of whom one is missing. One has severe burns and two others have mild burns. A few hours later, Ron Petrol Raffinari Company announced the complete extinguishing of the fire. No risk to the company's equipment or to neighbouring inhabitants were reported. Petro Media is based on the shores of the Black Sea in Novodari, 20 kilometres north of the country's biggest port, Constantia. It said it processed a total of 1.26 million tonnes of raw materials in the first quarter of this year, a similar level to the year before, and had been running at 84% capacity. A Polish mother was left dumbfounded after finding a singing and dancing cactus toy rapping and swearing about cocaine in Polish. The woman who lives in the city of Taichung in Taiwan saw a green toddler-friendly toy in the children's section of the local supermarket. It turned out that the dancing cactus played out the dark, suicidal music of Polish rapper Sipis. The 32-centimetre tall cactus gyrated and played a song entitled Where is the White Eel? by Polish rapper Sipis. The lyrics begin... The only thing in my head is five grams of cocaine, fly away alone. The shocked mother contacted local news portal taiwannews.com and said, cocaine and attempted suicide repeated over and over again. It is really shocking and totally unsuitable for children. Other parents have since slammed the toy after finding it being sold online. A woman in Spain who found the cactus on amazon.com wrote, it's a basic toy, it's okay, but it's scary that songs intended for kids are about cocaine, it's crazy. Another from Germany commented, this is not a song for children. I gave it to a colleague to translate and then we realised that the song is about drugs and violence. It is a Polish song. Now the rapper's management has also hit out at the toy, saying they would be taking legal steps against a manufacturer for unlawful use. If we manage to take any legal steps, they will face the consequences related to the unlawful use of the work by Sipis. Certainly, the producer would not be allowed to use the song for this purpose. The manufacturer of the toy has so far been unavailable for comment. That's the news. Thank you for watching. Stay with us for the weather, Poland Daily Business and more programmes. But from me, it's have a good night and a better tomorrow.